So it's been a little bit of time since we've taken a look at Above VTT and some of the amazing new features that they've added. Might as well dive right in and get a practical, hands-on look at some of the amazing features that the developers over at Above VTT have given us. I'm John, and you're watching Dragons and Flagons. So we're going to just jump right in. I'm here on my Solo Adventure campaign page, and uh, yeah, we're looking at... Uh, some characters that you may recognize from previous videos. Um, I have above VTT installed. If you don't know what's going on here or how to do any of that, you can watch some of the previous videos. But I'm just going to jump in as a DM. Once we get past this title screen here, we can kind of take a look and see what's going on. We have the tavern loaded up. Uh, DM and players can all view it. Um, to show some of the cool new features, I'm going to do a little editing right out of the gate just so we can kind of see what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do is go over to the gear and hit the configure. And we're going to raise the darkness up. Might as well snap it to a grid. And we'll keep everything else the same. Now it looks, since the last time I've opened up this tavern, it looks like uh, the developers have done a little bit of the work for us. So we'll go take a look at the walls. And yes, they have walls all connected. Very nicely done for us. Fantastic job. And I'm actually going to add one more little, oops, one more little feature over here. I'm going to click this wall to door button and add a door right here. I'm not going to bother doing it to every single door in here, but at least give you the, the idea of what's going on. And then click select and, and move off of there. As you can see, now we have this little red icon down here that will allow the DM at least to open the door. Um, we don't have a token on the map yet, so I'm going to use Faith again. And we'll add Faith here. And Faith is now locked into the grid. And I can move Faith around with my keyboard. But to really get a good idea of what's going on, I'm going to open up another tab with Faith um, as a player view. So I'm going to go back over to my campaign page. And as players have installed above VTT, they will also have the join above VTT button on their character. So we're going to open that up. Let me just organize some things here. Close this window out. And now I'm logged in as Faith. So I can see that in this screen, I can only see the room that I'm allowed to see. And uh, there are walls that are blocking the light. Going back over to the DM, I can see much more than that because I am the DM. Um, but I also have this door. So if I open the door, Faith should be able to see through it. And just so we can get a good look, I'm going to jump back over to Faith and maybe even move her down 10 feet. She's by the door. She doesn't have the ability to open it, but the DM does. So if I open that door, I can see that there was a subtle light change here. But let's see what Faith can see. And there it is. Now Faith can enter this room and see everything that's going on. Now there's no light source in this room, but Faith can still see because Faith has dark vision of 60 feet. If I and uh, disable that, I can no longer see in this room. Let me see if I can still, I can't even move around. So I need light. There it is. Turning it back on. That's a super high level on how to make a door. What else is going on in this room? We also have this flame. If I look at the vision and light on here, I'm in, I've enabled the tokens vision and light, and it has a 60 foot, but also 
uh, I have a 10 foot inner light and a 10 foot outer. It's allowing light for this entire area so I can see what's going on in here. Along the same lines, I can add a new token. So let me, oh, I don't need to search for it. I'll just scroll down. Above VTT comes with all of these pre-made tokens. Um, I can add another flame to the map, or it really could be anything I want. And if I just move this flame out into the outside area, and I change the vision and light, and I give it a an inner light of, I don't know, 200, and an outer light of 200, that's more than enough, we can now see that it casts the light outside of the room, outside of the building. So now it's at least daylight on half of the building. Let's go back out to Faith so she can see what's going on. She can't see that light from where she's standing, so let's move her outside. And there it is. I can now see outside. Not positive here. Let's actually test this out while I'm while I'm here. I'm going to move this flame inside really quick and just see what happens. Going back over to Faith, now it's only the dark vision that's outside. So 60 feet of dark vision is only allowing me to see this far up to about the doorway. So if I move to the edge of the map, 60 feet should get me to the door. I have a ruler tool here. There it is, 60 feet. And actually, I guess it would be right on the edge. So there it is. Yeah, I can see that far. But to bring our character back here and provide this light, now we have a nice source of light for the outside. But let's just say that we don't want to see a big ball of fire out there. It could be confusing for people. We can actually hide this token and still keep the same effect. So I can see it as a DM. It's kind of hidden over here. Let me scoot this over a touch. But when I switch over to Faith here, let me scoot over. It's not there. The effect is still there, but the flame, the fireball, is no longer there. And I can move myself down and see that there is plenty of light on this side. But what happens if I go to the other side of the building? I have dark vision on that side, and you can see that it actually stops about halfway down the building. So what if I want to have all of the light outside? Well, why don't I copy this flame, paste it, keeps all of the same effects, and we'll just move it on down to the correct spot where we'd like it. All the way down here. And now, there we are. The outside world is lit up. And of course, you'd have to play with it because there are extra walls here. Nice little wall. But maybe we want to fix that wall. We can erase a line or erase an area. So maybe right out of the gate, I will erase an area and just get rid of this whole area there. Now I can see in this room really well, but I want to put the walls back up. So let's draw a line. Um, I'm going to hold my shift key down as I do this. I'm using my trackpad, so. And here we go. I'm going to put my line there. And then because I'm holding shift, I can keep going all the way over and it will just keep the line moving. But I'm going to let go of shift and just click one more time and there it is. But it does look like there is a door here, so might as well add a door. So I'm just going to click the draw door tool and we'll just draw it right there. Now there's a door leading inside. But like we did before, there are plenty of doors in here that they just have lines. So I have a couple different options. I can erase the line or erase a section of the line or and it flickers like that when I move in. I'm not positive why. Or I can just add a wall to door 
they've added this wall to door button. And I can just highlight the area that I want to door. And there it is. Very nice feature. Zooming back out. And let's move our character back inside. And we'll slip back over to our character's view. And there she is. We still have our open door. We can still move over here and see what's going on inside. Now, one last thing I want to kind of show is how would you treat other forms of darkness, maybe a magical darkness? So let's assume that in our in our bar, our tavern, where we are having a grand time with the other NPCs and, and discovering new things, we will take a look at a drow. Maybe a drow has come in to get a drink for whatever reason. The Drizzt has joined us here. The drow can cast darkness at any moment. We have an area of effect tab up here. And darkness is a 15-foot radius. Uh, it doesn't really have a darkness option here, so I'm just going to set it for default. And it's a circle. So now I have my 15-foot circle of darkness that I'll add here. It's not really stopping me from seeing anything. As you can see, switching over to the player characters area. So what you can do is you can just use that as a template for fog. This is what I've been at least doing. So if you click on the fog, you have the reveal section and the hide section. I'm just going to hide in a circle and find a general centered spot in here and just circle out until you've filled the area. And now you have a nice black dot of fog. We can actually get rid of this area of effect here. Delete it. Now as the DM, I can see everything within there. But as a player, everything is now cast in a magical fog that I can't see through. I know this is really fast, but I just wanted to kind of show some of the cool features that I've seen with Above VTT as of late. The primary thing that I wanted to show was uh, the doors, how you can update and delete walls. You can add a door to a wall um, and just add a door if there's a gap in the wall. Along with that, we had the lighting features that kind of illuminate the areas on how to do different things. I've touched on that in previous videos, but it doesn't hurt to kind of take a look at them again. Until next time, happy adventuring.